Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to blend this crocodile head here with the cheetah. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see there's the cheetah's body. Um, I got a crocodile head on top of it. If you look over my layers, crocodile head, cheetah body, red background. That'll become relevant here in just a second. So I'm going to zoom in close. Always zoom in close. Um, and a couple of things I want to do. First of all, I'm going to use an eraser to blend out the crocodile head here into the cheetah's body. Some things I want to do is I want to check behind this and I don't want to have things like the face showing through. Now this really isn't going to be a problem with this demo but I'm going to show you how to solve this problem anyway because let's say I'm erasing something and then I start to see facial features popping through where I'm erasing. Very awkward. So what I'm going to do on the crocodile head layer I'm going to take my fuzzy select tool I'm going to click so it gets everything around the crocodile head. I'm going to make that invisible and I'm going to go down to the cheetah layer. What I can do at this point is I can erase out things that are outside my selection area. Now it's going to erase to red. Don't be alarmed just because the background behind it's red. It's going to make this very easy to see. I don't not need to do everything but I want to get rid of the chin of the cheetah here and the ears that are sticking out. I don't want to get too far down here. I'll worry about that stuff later. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to have this area inside the crocodile head selected because you can see right here as I erase this area out I'm going to have a hole where I can see the grass behind it or a hole down here or trees I guess where I can see the trees behind it so I'm going to fill this area with cheetah texture so instead of having the croc the area around the crocodile head selected I'm going to invert this which is like reverse I go up to select I get which modifies my selection areas and I invert so now what I have selected is actually where the cheetah is. So if you can see if I erase now, there's a hole in the cheetah. I don't want to do that, but that's where I am. Okay. So I'm going to go to a clone stamp tool. Looks like a rubber stamp. I click on this. I have a fuzzy edge brush, opacity 100%, as large as I can get away with. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab some cheetah texture. I'm going to hold down my command button, and I click where I want to source from you can see that a circle remains there and as I come over here and paint it actually paints in the texture of the cheetah okay and this is what I was talking about as far as getting rid of facial features oops I'm getting a little bit of grass there okay I can get rid of all these facial features which will make, make it easier to blend in with the eraser if I needed to okay so once again clone stamp Fuzzy Edge Brush, 100% because I'm completely covering stuff up. Now what I'm ready to do is I'm ready to blend in my crocodile head with my cheetah. So what I'm going to do now is I go back to my crocodile head layer. I'm going to um, deselect because I don't need that to be there anymore. Just turn that off. I'm going to go to my eraser. I'm going to use a Fuzzy Edge Brush. I'm going to change the opacity on the eraser to about 25%. So what I'm going to do here, my goal is to lose the edge between the crocodile and the cheetah. I want to use as big of a brush as possible that I can get away with. See this? Pretty large. Gives me a, a smoother blend. And as I'm going to start erasing here, you will see the crocodile starts to go away. Now I don't need to worry about holes down here because I have cheetah texture under everything. That's why I did it. And you want to do this zoomed in close very very close because as I come in even closer what I'm really looking for you can still see this edge where the one photograph ended I want that to be gone completely completely gone I don't want to be able to see any of it when I zoom in close it's very very important and that looks pretty good I think we're good and that is how you blend we haven't even gone into whoops, look up there. We haven't even gone into color matching yet, and already I have a pretty convincing blend. All right.